Well, good morning, everybody. It's, what is it here? It's Friday morning, August the 10th, I believe. And uh, with my family, we popped up to Penticton here for a couple of days just for a mini vacation. And uh, it was up to 41 degrees up here in Penticton. Yesterday, today's going to be another scorcher. Whew. And so, what I want to chat with you guys about today is something that a lot of people when they hear that I get up nice and early in the morning they go what by the way that's Okanagan Lake here on the northern side of Penticton 5 a.m. club I cannot wait whenever he'll have it ready Robin Sharma one of the mentors I listen to he's been working on the 5 a.m. club book for years now he makes me laugh he's taking so long but Ever, start, ever since I started my business, I started understanding the importance of taking time every morning and having my time, me time, Marco time. And I encourage all of you to do the same. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about getting up at whatever time you can. Now, if you're not going to get up at 5 or 5.30 or 6, but you usually get up at 7.30, why not make a point instead of 7.30 in the morning? Get up at quarter to 7. Go to bed earlier. Yes, go to bed earlier. Hey, Rhonda. Hope you're doing well down there in the big state of Texas. Get up earlier and take the time for you. My ritual I've shared with many of you uh, many times in conversation, in meetings, uh, over the phone. I so look forward to and it's a game changer they say the first hour of your day sets the tone for the rest of your day and for myself for example everyone else is sleeping and good for them after the long drive up here for me I'm not usually much of a driver got up this morning nice and early went for a beautiful run here along the boardwalk here in Penticton and I just finished now I'm gonna really walk through my own ritual which will be listening to my Darren daily reading my faith, doing my affirmations, uh, listening to our general's call this morning later on, uh, doing my meditation, and then just quiet time. If I just quiet my mind here, there's no one around me, and I get to think, I get to visualize the day that I plan ahead, what I plan, what are my top three big audacious goals for today. But to hear the silence behind me, I can think because come another hour or two from now, there's going to be more cars, everyone's going to wake up, there's going to be just noise and clutter around me, for you, for me, for all of us. And I choose to invest in me at the start of each day, and it has served me really well in terms of what I think, because what goes in here comes out in terms of the actions, in terms of the output and hopefully giving me a winning day instead of a day that's just like another day. So I can't wait for Robin Sharma's book, The 5 a.m. Club. A lot of people may say, 5 a.m., you are nuts, Marco. Okay, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, whatever it is for you, whenever you get up, I'm encouraging you to do it first thing in the morning, whatever ritual you have, but quiet your mind. It is so beautiful here because it's just me and Lake Okanagan in the background and I'm going to take now about an hour here just to go through my own morning uh, ritual and it's going to allow me to win my day today even though it's going to be on a beach swimming out to that dock out there enjoying my family time so as always I hope that's been a value to you um, enjoy your day win your day and uh, get up earlier than you do. It, it's a game changer. Okay, guys, hope you got some value. Feel free to comment below. What time do you get up in the morning? And it, all it is is if you're going to get up early in the morning, that see, makes it sense that you just need to go to bed a little bit earlier in the evening. Why just hang around and linger around on these iPhones, on your computer, on that TV? It's just noise, guys. Okay, talk to you soon. Hope you have a fantastic weekend ahead. We'll be in touch. Bye-bye.